Hey guys, Iridos and Ike here, welcome back to another video. So, for today's video, uh, we're gonna be working on a killer achievement I don't have, and it's kind of a tougher one because of the lack of good perks you can use for it. So the perk, the achievement we're gonna be working on is Tools of the Trade. Now, I made it a, I made a video a long, long time ago now about one of the survivor equivalents, uh, I can't remember the exact name, because there's like a, there's like three different ones, power moves, which is no perks, uh, and I can't remember the name of the ones that are just one, or like three perks. Either way, the whole point is we have to get, uh, we have to achieve merciless victory, so 4Ks, five times using only three universal perks on killer. I already have one accomplished, so we've got four to go. Um, yeah, so let's get right into it. I'm going to be using the unknown. We might do some other killers, depending on. You'll kind of, you guys will get to see. Uh, I'm not really sure as I'm sitting down to record this. What I'm going to exactly stick to, I'm going to go over the build. And that will kind of stay the same for the most part, besides maybe one alteration, which I'll talk about. Uh, but otherwise, the killer might change, but nothing too crazy. Um, for the most part, this is what the build will look like. I'm going to be running Bitter Murmur, if you're not familiar. Uh, it lets me see the aura of survivors within 16 meters of a generator when it's completed. When the last one's completed, the, uh, the aura of all survivors is revealed to me. We have Sloppy, which just infre inflicts, inflicts mangled and hemorrhage on survivors. That just makes it so it takes them a lot longer to heal. Uh, and we have Spice from the Shadows. Uh, we're notified if a crow gets spooked by a player. Really good information perk. Spies is actually really underrated. I would recommend it a lot. Um, yeah, it's a really good one. In terms of what might change, we uh, we might use a little bit of Noed, just depending on how things are going. I'm already recording this at an ungodly hour. It's 2.38 a.m. and I, So I'd like to try to not have to be up more than I already have to be. Maybe switch in Unrelenting. But I don't really feel like that's necessary. If we're going to switch them out for anything, too, it would probably be to Murmur. Because Spies is a lot better than it in my mind. But yeah. So uh, we'll go ahead and get into the first few matches here. I'll just put... Uh, depending on how long they are, I'll probably put all four matches in this video. Just because... There you go. You have a lot of matches. I'm going to apologize now. My commentary is not the best because I'm probably going to have to be focusing a lot. Oh, for add-ons, I'm going to be running Discarded Milk Carton. Uh, that doubles the projectile's bounce strength. This is really good. A really underrated part of his power is using ricochets. It allows you to hit some survivors that normally dodge pretty well. And it really catches them off guard a lot. So that's always something to consider. And then the last, this other one is uh, Iridescent, which makes it so I can teleport five seconds faster. And not to mention the decoy lasts 10 seconds longer. Um, the decoy also has a tear radius and red sting. It's really, really good. I don't know why this... Their, their iridescent add-on balancing is so whack. Either way, uh, that's about it. So we'll go ahead and start getting into the matches here. Rotten Fields. Let's see, what's, let's see what we can do here. So right at the bat, I will say, uh, not a great map for my add-on, because there's not a lot of stuff to actually bounce the projectile off of, besides Cooler Shack and, like, certain tiles, but... Yeah, it is how it is. Saw somebody over there. Uh, more realistic would be over here, though. No. Oh. Okay, that's a good first hit right there. Ooh, yeah. Bad. That is an amazing first down for us. Very fast. Um, allows it. This is good pressure going. So I will say, this used to be a lot easier when Jolt was a thing. Or Surge. I can't remember which name is which. Basically, Demogorgon's perk became general for a little while. And it was a lot easier to do it then, because then you actually had a regression perk. And then they were just like, yeah, no. I still think that was like the dumbest change ever. They really should have left stuff. Do we have... 
No? Yes? Overcome? I was gonna say, like, do we have a reason we're not running immediately? Oh, right, this guy's name is, like, Bully Steve. I just thought that was a little silly right there. Bully Steve's really bullying us today. Please don't have power struggle. Please don't be one of five people using power struggle. Hey, thanks for the fireworks, man. That was actually really cool looking. I don't think I've seen one of those ones before. Go ahead and just break the pallet right off the bat. No reason not to. Yeah, there's no reason to use the power here. We'll down him without it. So we're going to down him this guy faster without it than we would with it. That generator is going to pop. Turn around and get better of more value. Is it garbage as it kind of is? I'm going to see if we can get Steve down again. Simply for the fact that we're trying to go for a 4k. And, well, sometimes it's just how it is. You know, I'm not always here to make sure the survivors have fun. That was not the most necessary use of the pallet right there. I don't feel like Nia. Oh, they got rid of it. I was going to say it was TP to it if they unhooked the decoy we had over there. Boom. Okay. See if we can take advantage of our add-on. Excuse me? Where did she go? I have not the slightest clue where that girl went. Hello, Renato. Ooh, 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 okay, okay. I should have tried to be, get a ricochet there. Around the corner, huh? Oh, they're playing, she's playing really well. We'd swung me would have had a right. Oh man. Doesn't matter. We still got her down. But that took that was such a waste of time, man. We took that took way too long. We can't have another chase like that. If we do, it could literally mean the end of the game. Especially with no way to really apply that much control of the generators. Oh, we got Renato with that. That's crazy. We're gonna kick this. Just gonna hopefully get a little bit of regression on it. That was very close to hitting him. It's, it's shitty, but we need her dead. That's the power. We would not have hit that if it were not for the add-on. That's fine with me, Steve.
Boom. Oh, Steve! Steve, you just lost your team in the game! That was insane, Steve! It was good! Like, I get- he's trying to be altruistic. But, like, where she was vulnerable? It was not worth sticking around, man. I guess it hurts our best choice. No, but that was it was it was not worth sticking around, Steve. Good lord. That was crazy, man. I think we go pressure Renato. Hitting Steve here is not a bad idea. That's fine. Boom. Okay, he's gonna drop the pallet. That's fine with me. Where is he? That's insane! And you're not picking up? We've got it. Unless there's an unbreakable in play, it's already guaranteed. But I think we've got it anyways. Well, that looks good with. Come on. Just go down, Sable. Boom! Okay. Well, that's the first match, uh, right off the bat. That was a really good comeback match. I was I was very worried we were not going to get that for a second. Actually, I am going to wait for you for just a second. Make sure we don't have a delivery. Or a Kobe. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5... I just she's not picking up is what's crazy here and then we slug her in case she has DS okay That was insane. I like. I am. I was very worried this match was not going to be one where we actually got progress. But we made a really good comeback, and that ended up just being a really, really good match. So, yeah. Now my next biggest fear here is potentially some uh, wheels because of hook density. Oh no, we'll be fine. Because we should make Renato. We should be able to make Renato to that hook. And then Sable to the one over there by the excavator. Or the harvester, not the excavator. Yeah. Okay. First match in. That's really good. It was just the fact that we got him. Nice try. Nice try. But it was just the fact that they all grouped up over there as what was really insane to me. Being able to... That's one of the best things I've started to do with the Unknown, is using my decoys a lot more in chase. Just teleporting in front of somebody works really, really well. Uh, and it really allows you to tunnel someone out really fast if you need to for whatever reason. Now, I'm not... Like... Okay, let me straight up with you. I'm a killer. Like... There are times where I feel tunneling is necessary for you to make a comeback or whatever. And so... But when you and when you need to do it, the, the Unknown can do it really well using his... his uh, his decoys. We'll go ahead and say GG's. Well played all. Beautiful. Alright guys, here we are on Wrecker's Yard. We were not sent here. Um, 
I did switch over to Slinger. I am running Spies, Sloppy, and Monstrous Shrine. I decided to give uh, the unknown a break. Switch over to a character that was sounding really fun to me that I haven't played in a minute. Okay, that was very fast. Good first hit. What are you doing? You've got to be kidding me, man. You have got to be kidding me. You do not get away this time. Ooh, in fact, you go down now. I knew she was going for the vault, because if you noticed her medkit disappeared. Something to pay attention to. Let's hook Fang. Say so they're gonna finish that, but we do have the advantage of two of them being injured now. That, okay, that was a different one. Again, the advantage is both these girls are injured, however. We go for the wombo combo here. I can't believe that didn't hit. That was stressful. Uh, we're going to reload immediately after hooking this girl, simply for the fact that they might come over and try to heal this... Uh, uh, kill Kate. And so having a shot... This would be nice to interrupt. Yep. Okay. Kate is ours. Ooh, basement. Basement will be really, really good here, hopefully. This is Monster Shrine, so if we do back up, she is gonna go fast, a lot faster, progress wise. Beautiful. We got other stable right here. This is so good for us. We pick up and we just head down there. It's gonna be a grand old party for you guys. And Kate's gonna hit second stage. I, th we're doing really, really good here. I'll be honest, when Kate was really taking us for a ride there, I was not too sure at first. But. Definitely feeling a lot more confident now. I will let her wiggle. I'll just let you break off, girl. Oh my lord. Where is the other sable? 
You're so cool. Ah, oh, I overshot. Okay. It genuinely makes me chuckle anytime I see a uh, survivor start doing the moonwalking. Because it is really actually cool to see. I, I don't know how to do it. I'm bad at survivor. So it's really entertaining to see that. I won't lie, I was really nervous about this match when Kate really gave us that first good chase. But we were able to make a really good comeback there. Not that there was really much of a comeback. They didn't get a huge lead on us. There just was a small one. But we were able to get the win. Whew. Okay. You know, I just decided to take a break from the unknown. Because it was like sweaty match after sweaty match. We got the one first good one. I don't want to, but we are going to wait out. Yes. Hey Google, set a timer for one minute. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Beautiful. All right, that's three. Two more. Were we sent here? Oh my lord, man! Yep, guess I'm ugly goo! You try to play this game casually, and that's when you get the sweatiest of matches. So avoid, ignore me, if I get real up close here. Here, we'll just do this. Okay, I can't really actually adjust it that easy, right off the bat. But I get sent to Eerie Crows, I'm so fucking done, man. I'm so fucking done, didn't tire. Set the map. Oh, I got some sweaty ass builds tonight. I have one goddamn game away just going to nurse. I didn't want to do it. You know? I really didn't want to do it. I really, I really didn't want to do it, but I will. Whew. Oh my lord, man. We got a brand new parts or some shit? No, maybe actually. It's probably, that wasn't as fast as I thought. It's as it feels like I'm going to bed. Sorry, just gonna do something on OBS. I need to stop doing that. But, like, that's so much better than alt having for me. Yes. Hell yes. I don't care. I don't. No more. No more dice guy. No more just the dice guy. Type of guy to say it. Because I need it. I've been pushed around too much tonight. I'm already using nice builds. Like, I don't even have four perks on, man. I mean, that's not the Spire's fault. None of them know that going into that. They're, not, they're expected to go against another P3000 disgusting nurse or blight. Like, 
So it's not really fair of me to, to get like too upset. But it just keeps happening back to back. It's just starting to get frustrating. Doesn't surprise me that they got that one done. So I will say, if part of the reason it seems I'm so frustrated, it's just because this has been a really long recording session. And if you guys ever get this frustrated, I do highly recommend taking a break. It gets discouraging, I get it, and the best thing you can do is take a break and come back later. Doctor's power, man. Is Lisa gonna hit second stage? Lisa hit second stage. Ooh. Okay. I heard David. He's so dead. This match just went from. Like, not being ours, like, we were definitely going to lose, but, I, look, I know you yeah, I played kind of rude, I may have said some awful things, like I said, I just, I'm going to be really frustrated, this has been a pretty long recording session, I've just got to get this for you. Deadlines I'm setting myself on, it's a, I'm trying to be more self-disciplined with deadlines, and so I have to meet them, otherwise I don't feel right. <laughs> and... So I've just been, it's been a really long recording session, and that's, that's why I've been frustrated, because I've been against a lot of sweaty players, and I'm trying to do this tonight. And this was like the fourth eerie of crows I've had, I swear to god. So it's not really anything, and it's not the survivor's fault though, like I said, they're, 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 they're not expecting this. So, even if they are, it's fine. So I just want to apologize for that. If you guys ever, again, if you guys ever get frustrated, take a break. <laughs> and unfortunately, we are going to have to slug here. <laughs> just so I can get the 4K. I'm not holding out any stops. We are getting this tonight. Or this match for this match will count for us. <laughs> Come on. Let's go. Okay. So we'll just for reference, when I talk about the long recording session, we are two hour, we're at a two hour forty five mark, and this is our third victory out of I can't remember. That's our third out of four needed. So one more. So we're looking good in that department. Out of the like one in a million chance you're a flip flop boil over or flip flop power struggle user, we're walking around. Hallelujah. I swear to God. I swear to God, man. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Right, win, win three. You can just tell I'm getting unhinged at this point, man. 
One more. We're sealing the deal on Nurse. Yeah. We're gonna seal the deal on Nurse. Just go for it, you know? Ugh. It was, okay, suddenly, this is going to sound really awful, I don't feel nearly as bad totaling Ada out now. She sent us here. She sent us to Erie. You hear me? She did this. All right, guys, so as I was talking about, we're going with, going with uh, the nurse, these next few, or this next match, she's going to try and get it, get it done. Steve, what are you doing, man? I don't know what Steve's doing. We have a no mither gamer as well. I'm so confused what's going on. I don't want Steve. Anyone else, please? Anyone else care to, like, show themselves? Hello. Ah, uh, Claudette. Honestly, bots are probably some of the best practice you can get for playing nurse. Just queue into a bot lobby and just sit there and practice in customs. Because you won't learn anything too advanced. Found everybody. Still one more down here. The user of the perk. I'm willing to bet this guy's running wicked. So I guess we're basically getting given to a free with this one. And I appreciate that. What the? What? Like, I appreciate that. So, thank you to these guys. I think Steve's a Twitch streamer. I'm gonna, I'm gonna link him. I know that's probably not their intent. They're like, oh, they're like, they don't know I'm doing this. We got it! Yeah! Okay, so I guess that last one was a little anticlimactic, but I don't care, man. This is a 3 hour, 23 minute recording so far. This has been brutal. I got so tilted that last Doctor match. Again, I'd like to apologize for that and anything I said. It was out of line. You get that pissed off, just, just take a break. And it should pop up any minute now. Yeah. Okay. Well, I have that pulled up. Talk to him and ask if he's interested in that at all. But yeah, I, I really... I'm glad we got it. It's over. Um, yeah, there's not really much to say for this one. 
we'll get more Alien Isolation tomorrow. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure to leave a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe for more Dead by Daylight and other horror content. If you have any suggestions or any thoughts, please be, uh, please feel free to share them in the comments. I'll make sure to respond. Uh, beyond that, there's a link to my Discord down there in the description. Make sure to click that. Join in there. I'd love to see you guys there. Great place to meet more people, to play games with, and to get a chance to be in future videos. Um, as well as that, there's also a link to a killer build submission form if there's any builds you'd like to see me play. Uh, go ahead and submit them there, and I will play them. You could you could submit a dumb build and I'll play it. We'll do it. So go ahead and submit some. Yeah. Uh, there's also a link to my Twitch. Make sure to check us out there. We're going to start streaming uh, two days a week. Two to three days a week. Uh, and that's about it. I will see you guys in the next one. Eek out. Thank <laughs> you.